Hello, welcome back. In this lesson, we'll understand about data types in C and how we use data type in C so that we can enhance our VUGen script. So let's so let's get started. So let's go to this uh, virtual user generator editor and do a new script. And let's do a web HTTP HTML and then uh, let's give this script name as C chapter three and video one. Okay, and this call is data type. Okay, and all the scripts will be available for you at a later point of time, so it should not be worried. And then I'm going to uh, keep this thing in load runner and source temp. So I give the location where I'm, where I want to keep the script, and let's create a script. This is what you're going to see in by de by default. This what this is what you are going to see, and we are not going to record anything because here we want to just understand about basic C programming language. So remember that this has a compiler in it so that whenever you compile this will adhere to the Turbo C syntax. Okay, let's try to print hello world. Okay, to print in hello world what you can do you can write say printf and then you can do okay so it looks like this compilation is passed and then if I run I probably see something in the output but this printf is a is a C syntax however load runner gives you another function called lr underscore output underscore message okay by which you can print something to the uh, output pen okay and just basically just take this thing and then put there and now let's run the program okay so it so looks like it has printed hello world here and unnecessarily we are going to see all those um, you know logs okay so to turn off those logs the best idea is to go to runtime setting and then go to log and then click on this no logging okay so now let's rerun this thing again and let's see what's what we are seeing so very simple let's hello world and this is coming from line number four and the line number four here is LR output message. Notice that this printf didn't give us anything because this is a C generic, so this is a C language function and this is basically printing hello world but it's just that it's not going to show here in the output panel. To show your show your stop in output panel use LR underscore output message which is a default which is a function that has given by the load runner default library. Okay. So now this is what we did. Okay. So now can I declare a variable? Okay. So this is what is meant by a variable. Like what I want to do next is so what I want to do next is I want to create a box and in that box I want to store 4. Okay. And 4 is an integer. So therefore I will declare a variable int i and then I'm going to give i is equal to 4. Okay. So this is the variable declaration that what kind of box you want. Okay, and then here you will as you will assign the value to that uh, box. Similarly, I want to I mean I want to store 5.6. Notice that 5.6 is not an integer, rather it's a float. So therefore, I'm going to declare a variable called float f like this, and then I'm going to put f is equal to 5.6, and that box looks like something different, and this is 5.6. Similarly. I want to uh, store a, a, a character okay so car and let's say c and then c is equal to let's say a in a quote remember we are given a given a quote and this is the character box and here we have a so what our goal here is to is how how we can code in c programming language using the virtual user generator editor so the first thing is int i and let's say this is the declaration and then I do i is equal to 5 this is assignment okay then I will I will I want to print to the, the syntax for the print statement is like this the value of i and then I will finish the quote and then here I'll give a formatting string since this is a integer so therefore I'll give percentage d okay then comma then give the value of i so let's run this program and see the value of i is 5 okay this 5 is coming from this one okay and this is substituted because it sees percentage d here okay similarly let's change 
this instead of integer i so let's say we will declare something called float f okay so float f and then let's assign f equal to 2.5 all right and then let's print the float so let's see what is the output of this program okay so it's showing the value of i is 0 so why is showing value of i is 0 because i put the value of i is not really i this is the f right the value of f and then however it didn't really take is it, it, i am expecting a value 2.5 the reason is of the formatting to to print a float variable you have to give percentage f okay so now let's see how what is the output of this program okay so now looks like things come comes out fine the value of a is 2.5.00 and let's see we want to declare a char variable so char c and then let's put c equal to a okay so c equal to let's say put put c equal to x all right and then print the variable similarly the formatting string here will be percentage c and then if you run this program now so it will give you the value of f is x so this is what we, we did we essentially created variable we created a int variable float variable and char variable and we print those things so this is what is called data type in c remember i didn't really cover everything okay there is a lot more than this but however if if you know this much then i think for the from the virtual user generation scripting point of view you should be fine thank you